As part of my e-cycling project, I picked up this HP XW4600 workstation. When I looked into its hardware, I was surprised, in the good way. Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Tiger Steve Tech, and today, we will be looking into this powerful workstation from 2008. This is not a typical daily driver PC, and when I show you the hardware, you will understand why. I'll start the video by talking about this system's hardware because that's probably the most interesting aspect of this computer. So it appears that this computer is equipped with some sort of Intel Core 2 quad processor, which is clocked at around 2.66 GHz, I think. Um, I'll check back on that later. It also appears that this computer has 6 GB of DDR2 memory, which I believe is ECC, but I'm not totally sure. I might check in the BIOS later. Um, it appears that this RAM actually was upgraded because the HP website does not list 6 GB as one of the stock configurations of memory. When I pulled out the memory sticks, actually, I found out that two of the DIMMs were manufactured by Kingston and appear to be aftermarket DIMMs. This system was equipped with two NVIDIA Quadro FX 1700 graphics cards. Now, by today's standards, this is nowhere near adequate for many games, and back then it really wasn't top of the line either. Each of these cards has 32 CUDA cores clocked at 460 MHz and 512 megabytes of DDR2 running at 400 MHz. According to TechPowerUp.com, the launch price was 699 US dollars. For hard drives, this system had two hard drives when I got it. So it had a Seagate Barracuda 7200 RPM 250 gigabyte hard drive, which I have currently installed in the system, and the other hard drive which was actually just flopping around in one of the hard drive bays, which I actually took out, is a 160GB Seagate Barracuda, which is otherwise, I believe, identical to the other drive. The motherboard on this system is equipped with a ton of expansion. So, it's got a PCI Express X1 slot, two PCI Express X16 slots, which are currently occupied by the graphics cards, a PCI Express X8 slot, which I believe is wired for PCI Express X4, and three PCI slots, one of which is occupied by a Wi-Fi card. External I.O. is also very abundant on this machine. As you can see, we have an 80 plus power supply, PS2 mouse and keyboard ports, serial and parallel ports, six USB 2.0 ports, line in, line out, and microphone jacks, another USB port, and an eSATA port. In the front, we are complemented with two USB 2.0 ports, headphone and microphone jacks, and it seems that there actually is a cutout for FireWire, but there was no port for FireWire. It is now the time in the video for me to power on this machine to show you, um, the BIOS and the OS, so, the power button. I'm gonna try to get into the BIOS. And... It. and I'm in the BIOS um so here we can see um our CPU an Intel Core 2 Quad uh, Q9450 at 2.66 gigahertz um we've got I think yeah six gigabytes of DDR uh, DDR2, DDR4, DDR2 running at 800 megahertz, and our front side bus is 1333 megahertz. Um, let's exit. This computer is actually quite loud. Um, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but in the background, these fans are running at a pretty high speed. Yeah, sorry about this camera shakiness, it's... I will get a tripod someday, but... It's not this day. And yes, Windows 8.1 is installed on this computer. Um... This is the profile of the e-cycling... organization, I guess, that I work with. And we have Windows 8 here. Video playback on 1440p is also surprisingly smooth. MSN.com really doesn't lag too much when I scroll through it. It's actually surprisingly fast for its age, this computer. Although, then again, it does have that Core 2 quad, so I'm not 
too surprised. When I pull up a bunch of websites on Google Chrome, which are known to be especially resource intensive, the CPU actually doesn't really throttle too much. I mean, yes, it is a Core 2 Quad, but it is 2008, and right now it's 2018, so um, it's been 10 years since this computer was le released, and it hasn't, it hasn't aged too much. Finally, I'm pulling up some specs for our Intel Core 2 Quad CPU. So this Core 2 Quad processor is from 2008, it was released the first quarter, so maybe, I'll guess, early January. Um, it's based on the 45 nanometer uh, manufacturing process. It's got four cores running at 2.66 gigahertz, um, 12 megabytes of L2 cache, 1333 um, megahertz frontside bus, and a TDP of 95 watts, which is pretty high actually for a CPU that's um, that's clocked at 2.66 gigahertz. It's actually pretty surprising to that now uh, maybe a six-core processor would with hyperthreading would have a TDP of somewhere around maybe 65 or 70 and this has a TDP of 95. We've gone a long way in CPU efficiency. Um, it's an LGA775 socket because it's core 2 and it's got all of this stuff. Um, so it's a 64-bit processor but not too surprising. Um, it's got VTD, and uh, but it doesn't have hyper-threading like modern core processors or Core i7 processors. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, please leave a comment, or if you didn't like it, please tell me why. Don't just hit the dislike button without telling me why. You know, leave a comment. And if you liked it, of course, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and thank you for watching.